Good morning and welcome back to Old Mold Farm. We have this new to us tractor. It's done 120 hours. It is an ex demonstrator. John Deere were replacing their demonstrators, so we managed to pick one up. Well, we picked two up actually. Pete's over with the the other one. Ploughing the field. It's going to be sugar beet. But we've got this one. Uh, plenty of power. What we need on here. Massive farm. It does leave us down to 73,000. We've got this 8RT370. And we also purchased a brand new Coverland DG seed drill. Nice big working width as you can see. And yeah, very happy with the setup we've got here. We jump back aboard. <coughs> uh, Pete's argument that he wanted John Deere on the farm won over in the end. I gave in to him. A little bit wider at this end. Meaning that we've got a short breed that side that will be done afterwards. ourselves around. Good thing about this tractor got the power to tow this. This is a 12 meter drill. The one that we re what it's replaced was working nicely yeah nice hoppies for us get all this drilling done we doubled the pack what we had we had six meters before we've now got the 12 meter drill so every breed is doing two of what we had before which is all good And yeah, we should be able to soon get some of this drilling done. It's a very misty morning. You can probably see the mist hanging over the field. It is Tuesday, the 15th of April. Definitely wanting to get this drilling done as quickly as possible. We've got this field of wheat and the next field of cross to get in and then switch over to barley. The drill did come with a free bin of any seed we wanted. So we picked to have A bin of wheat, seeing as we was drilling wheat today. All the good things of buying a seed drill brand new. We've got the first field, what was in yesterday is drilled. And this is the second field. Now this is why we need the power. We now climbing pretty, doesn't seem it that we are climbing pretty steeply to get to the top of the field or the bottom of the field as it should be probably. Top of the field is where you start. 
now we've got over the brow of the L and going down L again so the power not quite so much needed we have only got half a tank of fuel as well so but yeah we sold off a good chunk of what tractor equipment we had we are left with this 8RT Peaks out on the 8RX and we've got the anniversary model JCB which will do the drilling I think that's up round we go good thing about this drill as well compared to the one we had before this is a direct drill we can do the drilling of the crops without the need of a cultivator hence why Pete is now put the cultivator away and is ploughing some land up uh, everything working as it should anyway time we put the drone up so you can see the tractor in action <coughs> excuse me <coughs> got a frog in my throat now but yeah you can see from this drone footage you can see how steep this cell is and to have a direct drill so we don't have to cultivate to speed up the process we needed something big something powerful it was a choice between this and a pent both very similar tractors downside was that pent didn't have one of theirs that had been around some farms on demo just done 120 hours but the saving was big enough to saving we made was big enough to no way going no. better for some reason it didn't want to turn into the row there Yeah, it is brand new 2020 model tractor this one came out in 2019 they did make one of each model as a demonstrator took it around some farms and it is a 69 registered tractor TP69 LMO and the other tractor is TP69 LMP so they're both registered right after each other when we went to the John Deere ship and purchased the two demonstrators they hadn't been registered for the road, they'd been put on lorries, taken to the farms, and that was it. And the one Pete's got, of course, it is the one that came on this farm 
earlier in the year as a demonstrator. Covering a lot of ground fairly quickly here, so well worth putting ourselves in debt for. We are a quarter of a million pound now into the bank, which has to be paid back. The first payment of five thousand pound comes in May, and then five thousand pound payment every months from there on. These hills are a lot steep, steeper than what they look from in cab when you get on this view. You see how quickly now we are dropping down hill. So definitely need some big tractors. The next thing we want to do is get ourselves a bigger combine harvester. Uh, we will see. We've got still got some crops that are left standing from the previous farmer that was on here. Uh, we can get them shifted, but there's not going to be enough money to buy ourselves a new combine from that. But at least it will be enough to keep the payments up until such time that. we can get the harvest income from this not sure whether it tells you what the you know, it doesn't tell you the soil type when you're drilling but at the end of this harvest we do need to get some lime spread on the on the land uh, before we drill the next season's crops, lime will be added. As I said before, we have got a contract which came with the farm for one field of sugar beet each season. and we will honour that contract. We haven't got any equipment to harvest the sugar beets. We may get the contractors in to lift the sugar beet for us or we will hire ourselves a sugar beet harvester. Now, which of those at this stage I haven't even thought about which we, way we will roll on that. Plenty of time, sugar beet's not even in the ground as yet, so... Already, probably halfway through this field. Move the drone around, see what we've done, what we've got left to do, so getting close to halfway through this field already so already this early into the tractor being on the farm you can see the benefits that we are getting now yeah. three fields at the back end of this year will be drilled with winter wheat and a couple of fields of oil seed rape the rest of the land We'll be ploughed up over winter and drilled with barley and potatoes. Uh, 
and the spring. The sugar beet and potato land will be drilled with weed to wheat once it's harvested. The sugar beet land this year will be. It will be ploughed up and drilled with winter wheat along with the next two fields in the cycle. So probably this land will be ploughed again to go over winter. Still got 63% of our seed left in here, so we will possibly have to go and buy some more seed before too long. Let's just put the drone up in the air a little. Now you can see just how big a width we're taking. And yeah, it's all right, we again I've got a problem with with which the we've gone down a bit now. Not sure why it's doing that freezing a little bit now and again the computer although it is only farming simulator what's freezing and I'm not sure why that is working nothing else yeah that's a strange one not sure what's gone wrong there Sure, what's gone wrong there? Bit of a problem, so we will finish there for today. We hope you've enjoyed today's episode. We are a little bit shorter than normal, but please give us a like, give us a share, drop us a comment if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more of the work we do here please subscribe to the channel give that bell a ring it will tell you when we do our farming when we do our racing until you join us again next time thank you very much for watching goodbye for now